Hey, what's going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can reduce all of your lags, fix all of the FPS problems and get better performance in Fortnite's new chapter 4. Once again, this chapter is highly unoptimized and people are experiencing a lot of problems and hence I'm here to the rescue. I hope this video helps you out so make sure to watch it till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below for best settings. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright guys, first things first is the essential windows settings and for that you have to just open up your settings and once you are here, you have to search for game mode. Once you are in game mode, you have to make sure that game mode is turned on. This will turn off the applications running in the background and allow your PC to perform much faster. Right under that, you have the related settings. Go to graphics over here and then go to default settings and make sure hardware accelerator GPU scheduling is turned on. Go back to graphics and click on browse and then go to the install location of Fortnite. Once you have added Fortnite over here, you have to simply click on options and make sure that it is set to high performance. This will basically utilize your GPU while playing the game and hence you will be getting much better FPS just by doing this simple step. Also go into the windows update section and then go into advanced options, go into delivery optimizations and make sure to disable allow downloads from other PCs. This will save a lot of internet activity on your computer. Step number two is the best NVIDIA control panel settings. And for that, you have to right click on any empty area of your desktop. If you're on Windows 11, click on show more options and go to NVIDIA control panel. Now, once you are on NVIDIA control panel, make sure to use the advanced 3D image settings over here. Then go to manage 3D settings and then copy the same settings over here. And these will basically boost your game to the maximum level possible. Once you are done copying all of these settings, you can simply close NVIDIA control panel and let's move to step number 3 that is system configuration. For that you have to simply search for system configuration on your desktop and this small screen will pop right in front of you. What you're looking for over here is the boot section where you have to go to the advanced options and click on number of processors and select the maximum number of processors showing on your computer. This will basically optimize your computer's boot and also the performance drastically. Once you're done with that, simply click on apply and click on OK. Step number four is adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. For that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows and simply open this thing up. Now you will be in the performance options over here. Simply click on adjust for best performance and then click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Then simply click on apply and this will basically de-animate your windows. In that way you're gonna be in that way your PC will be most optimal but it will look a little bit trashy so you have to bear with it. But the performance boost will be insane and just after doing this step, you will be able to see significant performance boost on your computer. Step number 5 is creating a restore point. For that, simply search for create a restore point on your system and then wait for the drives to load up. Here, you're looking for your local disk C or any drive which says system. Then simply click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Simply click on OK, click on create and name it Fortnite. Then simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because in case of any emergency or any data loss or if anything is not working fine, you can always restore your computer back to the normal point. Once it is done, you can simply close it and let's move to the next step that is the Fortnite Chapter 4 FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below so you can download it safely. Once you extract and open this thing up, you will find in 4 folders. First folder will have the registry optimization files where you can boost your PC's responsiveness, CPU speed, disable unnecessary services, fix mouse delay as well as Fortnite optimization. Once again, it's depending upon you. Once again, it's totally your choice but for maximum performance. I would recommend you guys to run all of them. In case you're wondering what these files changes on your computer, you can simply right click, show more options and click on edit and that will be taking you to all of the settings that it is going to change on your computer. Once again, if you're not satisfied with those settings, I've also left the default registries over here. So in case of anything going wrong, you can always restore them back to normal. The second folder is the storage and memory optimization. Over here, you will have the cache cleaner as well as fps.bat. 
Both of these files have their own functions. This one will clean all of your temporary cache on your computer and to run them you can simply right click and run this as administrator. Just by running both of these files it will apply the tweaks that are required on your computer that will boost your performance. Then there comes RAM optimization where I have left a lot of presets for your memory. You have to find the memory that you are using and to do that you have to simply search for system information and look for the installed physical memory on your computer. I have 16 GB RAM so I have to use the 16 GB RAM registry. It can be different for you so you can select it from the presets over here. Once again I have also left the reset to default registry over here as well. Lastly is the cleanup files where you have the batch tweaks and it has the temporary files and runtime broker as well as useful tweaks for your computer. So make sure to run all of these things and that will implement the best settings possible on your computer it will boost your performance and it will get you the most fps to run it you can simply double tap to run them or right click and run them as administrator once you're done with the fps pack close it down and now let's come on to fixing the network issues for fixing all of your network issues i have partnered with exit lag exit lag is a simple application that will allow your computer to connect to the servers more precisely and it gives you a full control on your ping once again you can get exit lag for completely free from the link in the description below for three days once you open the application up you have to make sure that exit lag is running and over here you will have a ton of games to choose from you can simply search for fortnite from the list over here and add it then select the game region the nearest region for me is the way zero one so i have to apply that and it will show the estimated ping available on my pc Basically click on apply routes, go to the tools section, go to FPS boost section and make sure to enable the first, third, fourth and second last option. That will help you boost the FPS as well as fix all of your network issues. Once again guys, exit lag is a paid application and you have to get a subscription to keep using it. And also if you feel that these prices are high, it is not higher than the performance that you are going to get in your game just by using this simple application. So I highly recommend to you guys that if you are facing ping issues, packet loss issues and jitter issues, I highly recommend you guys to use exit lag. Go get it from the link in the description below and get flat 10% off from my link. Lastly, let's go and follow the best in-game settings. Okay, once you've dropped in the game, simply press your escape key and then go into the settings over here. I highly recommend you guys to use the full screen as your default window mode. Then for the resolution, go with the native resolution of your monitor, turn on VSync and set the frame rate limit to unlimited. Rendering mode, recently they have added this performance lower graphics fidelity which is basically much much better if you have a very very low end computer. So I highly recommend you guys using this because it gives you the maximum fps that you can get in the game right now once again this is now out of beta so i hope you guys will have some fps boost while using it so use it and let me know other than that if you have a super nice computer you can go with direct 11 and that will give you a good performance as well then go down and for the best visibility i personally use the protonope at 5 and that gives me the best visibility but it depends from monitor to monitor so leave your best visibility settings in the comments below and help the community out there for graphics quality 3d resolution should be set to maximum but if you're still facing fps issues you can crank it all the way down to 90 or 85 percent and your game will still look better set your view distance to medium or far to save some fps and for textures go with low and make sure to turn all of these things to low and off also make sure to enable show fps in games and simply click on apply and then click on confirm then go into the game settings over here and one of the very most important major step that most of you guys don't do is the replay settings over here make sure to turn off record replays and that will save a lot of memory and graphics memory on your computer and you can get much better fps just by disabling this simple thing once again if i'm missing out on any settings make sure to drop them in the comments below just to help out the community also i am going in depth for the new settings on fortnite that has been dropped recently so make sure to consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell because you don't want to miss that video as well so that was it for today guys i hope this video might have helped you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below since it really helps me out growing the channel as well we are really close to a hundred thousand subscribers and i would seriously appreciate you guys if you could drop a sub down below just to help me out we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out